graduated from Bowdoin, I received one of my most treasured gifts, this very Steinway. This instrument was built in 1858, among the very first pianos ever built by Steinway in New York. Like anything that's over 160 years old, this piano has been beautifully restored and retains its original soundboard and ivory keys. And the sound is just magnificent. When I first performed at Bowdoin in November of my first year, among those in the audience at Staszynski Hall was a gentleman named Bill Cook, a 1957 graduate of the college. A musician himself and a self-proclaimed curmudgeon, he came up afterwards and asked whether or not I had any interest in having brunch, which turned out to be one of our bi-monthly routines. And at every one of my performances since, I could always count on seeing Bill in the audience. Although I never did quite ask why he always sat so close to the exit. I suppose he could always make a quick run for it if I ever did play anything he didn't quite like. Thank God that never happened. Right before commencement, Bill had my family over at his house for a little celebration when he told us that he had intended to gift me his piano as a graduation present. And that's how this beautiful instrument came to be part of my Christmas videos every year ever since. Bill passed away peacefully at the age of 86 this summer. Like the hundreds of Bowdoin students that he had adopted over the decades, I miss his wry smile and his quick wit. But most of all, I will always remember that for Bill, the love of sharing great music friends of all ages is among the greatest joys of life and it will always be a privilege for me to play music in Bill's happy memory. Now on to some developments in my own life. I started a new job earlier this year and moved halfway across the country to Chicago where I now call home. I haven't fully settled down just yet but I am way ahead of schedule in furnishing my Lincoln Park apartment compared with anything I ever did in New York. Now, although I've been pretty much stationary for almost two years now, I did get to return to Maine this fall for the wedding of Joanna and Nick. There's really nothing better than reuniting with some Bowdoin friends in the most beautiful place. Now, I've quite given up on planning ahead, but I do hope that the new year will bring a little more travel back into my life. Speaking of traveling, the next piece will take us to one of the happiest places to spend the holidays, Vienna. It's been almost 10 years since I've been back in that city, but I still remember drinking mugs of mulled wine, walking around the charming Christmas market at Karlsplatz, and seeing one of my favorite Donizetti operas at the Vienna State Opera House. There really is a unique energy that is quintessentially Viennese when it comes to celebrations, and it's that spirit that Franz Liszt captures in a suite aptly titled Soiree de Vienne a set of waltz caprices based on some delightful waltz melodies of Franz Schubert. Liszt composed these in 1852, right around the time that this piano was built. And I can't wait to share a selection with you today. And with that, I wish you all a very happy new year.